Hello and welcome back to another edition of The E-Show, episode number five. Once again, my name is Neil Raffin, the director of PR and social media for the Eastern Hockey League. And I want to welcome in this week's guest, George Lewis, the head coach and general manager for the Philadelphia Little Flyers. Thank you for taking the time this morning, George. Welcome to The E-Show. Hey, Neil. Thanks for having me. It's good to be on. So let's jump right into it, George. Um, I think it's sure. it's pretty well known across the league now. You're in your second year. Of course, you were an assistant last season under Rocky Russo with the Little Flyers. But now this season, you're obviously the head coach, the the big guy behind the bench, and you're the youngest coach in the EHL. Do you think that has any benefits, or does that have any disadvantages for yourself? Um, that's a good question. I, I think um, being the youngest guy, I was kind of curious to see. Um, how uh, the other coaches would take to me and, and they've been nothing but accepting and, and great. And, you know, I really appreciate that. And obviously I, I had a pretty good mentor with, with rock last year. Um, but as far as benefits goes, I, I think certainly being a younger guy, um, my players are only, you know, six, seven, eight years younger than me. They, they relate to me pretty well. And um, they're, they're good kids who want to get better. So, you know, they're, they're eager to learn and, and we relate well, I guess maybe the, the cons would be being my first year as a head coach, maybe over the summer, I, I didn't quite have the network that, you know, some of the other guys in the league might have, but I think we've made it work so far. So you talked about your players a little bit, this obviously being your second season with the little fires, but you know, the history that goes back past the time before you got there. Uh, what do you see about this year's little fires team? that is similar to previous teams? Um, you know, I think, I think as a staff, we'd like to think that we're a hardworking team, similar to what we've had in the past. Uh, we certainly have a good amount of ability um, up front at defense and in the net. Um, you know, I, I think a staple of our teams in the past has been, you know, being deep throughout and I think I think we can bring that and I think we hard, work hard and you know I, I think we're a tough team to beat again this year and and off of that I've given a few awards out for our TSR Hockey Stars of the Week and Stars of the Month throughout the year we've recognized guys like Alex Ochterbeck and Joey Savelle and Brendan Brawley are there players on your team that maybe don't end up in the box score as much that we should all keep an eye on for the rest of this season Absolutely. Um, obviously, the three guys you mentioned have been fantastic, but uh, I think you could go down our lineup and, and look at our youngest player. Like uh, Avery Smith has been fantastic for us. Uh, obviously, our captain, Trevor Lewandowski, uh, is the hardest working guy, one of the toughest kids in the league. Um, you look at a guy like Rick Walsh, who got hurt in the first 60 minutes of the year and, and had a setback for about 10 games. But he's been nothing but great. Uh, core just got his commitment. There's up and down our lineup. You know, I, I named four, but there's plenty of guys that that deserve a lot of credit. And you know, I think I think all of our guys do a really good job, and that's something that that's really special. And off of that, obviously, it's going to take a a full team effort to get to where you want to get to at the end of the year, which I'm sure is Providence. You want to be in the Frozen Finals, and as yep. of today. Though you are ten points back right now in the Mid Atlantic Division, you have a game in hand on the Revolution, but you would currently be, you know, the third team in the South Conference. So when you look at the standings and and you talk to your team, knowing that there's still over half the the schedule left to go, how do you remain focused game to game, knowing that you want to make up those ten points as fast as possible, but you really can't do it obviously just in one game? Well, it's a process, and you know we've we've been humbled a few times this year um, and I hope we've learned lessons from those. I think we have. And, you know, it's, if, if you look ahead to a, a game that's two or three in front of you, you'll lose the one right in front of you. And, you know, our, I think our guys are learning that and, you know, everything's in our own hand. There's, there's still 27 games to play and, and we play the revolution several more times. And, you know, obviously we're chomping at the bits to play them. Um, they're a great team, but we got to take every game just just the same way and, and make sure we get the job done every weekend. And off of that, you know, this weekend you got a home-and-home home series 
with the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Knights. Obviously, what you just said, that your guys aren't looking ahead too far to three games down the road when you have the Revolution uh, on the road. Um, but this afternoon, for all those folks listening at home, of course, it's the game of the week between the Philadelphia Little Flyers and the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Knights. So that puck drop is at 2.30 p.m., and you can watch that game for free on Hockey TV. So good luck this weekend, George, and we'll see you soon. All right, Neil. Thanks a lot.